Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel and happy new year to everyone. I trust that you enjoyed the holiday and had a spectacular time. Thank you so much for coming back this year. So today I am actually going to do my products I'm taking with me into 2019. My most loved beauty products of 2018. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna call it, but it's like the best of the best products I reach for on a regular basis, products I'm loving, whatever. It's all beauty products. I kept it simple and I'm not gonna to go too in depth with certain things because I don't wanna make that video too long. So without further ado, let's slide into my best of the best. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the order that I apply my makeup, which will be primers. And I have four primers right here. The first one I'm gonna talk about is this Wet and Wild Face Primer. I love this primer so, 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 so much it has a nice uh, lotiony not too thick not too runny consistency that i love and when you dissolve that and massage it into your face it dries down to a nice um it dries down to a nice uh smooth but not slippy sort of tacky canvas that just makes everything you lay on top appear smoother and give you this flawless look after your makeup application and also this is a newer discovery is the covergirl pore minimizing uh um primer this one is a very similar texture to the wet and wild one it really does minimize your pores and gives you this this feel that i love i feel like they both keep your makeup in place and they also helps to control oils i personally do not like to reach for too much mattifying primers however i do love the nyx angel veil primer i love this primer so much it is a mattifying primer and it help, also helps to smooth your skin as well and i just applied this just to the center of my face, like my nose and my chin, where I do get oily. Um, just for a recap, I do have combination skin, and in the cooler months, it's drier. So um, I would use these all over my face, and I will use these, um, and I would use this one just to the center of my face where I get oily. And I love this one because um, if you're familiar with some mattifying primers, they can be very thick and clumpy. That's kind of difficult to work with sometimes, but the Angel Veil Primer does not do that. You just have to take a little, I just press it into the areas where I get oily, and it works pretty, pretty well. Another one that I want to mention is the Max Stroke Cream. This is not necessarily a primer, but I feel like it could be used as a primer because I apply this to the size of my face where I'm more normal dry, and it does dry down to a nice tacky feel that's gonna grip your makeup really nice. It has a nice glow from within um, finish that I love that just looks nice underneath your foundation. You could also mix it into your foundation as well. I do not like glowy products that looks glowy. I prefer my face to look um, matte, but this gives me a nice glow from within where it's not uh, um, just glittery and, and whatever. I just don't like products that does that to my skin. It makes my skin look old and emphasizes textures and things like that. But the MAC Stroke Cream, I love this product. Next, we're gonna talk about foundations. And um, this is what made it the best of the best. I do have other foundations that I love. I am gonna link my video that I deal with my top five favorite drugstore foundations. I would have my high end coming in this year as well. But I'm gonna mention those that I, I reached for a lot um, in 2018. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This one right here, and you can see it's more than half of it is gone. I use this foundation all summer i love it so much it's so full coverage it's drugstore it's inexpensive and i think maybelline just extended the range a little bit more so more, more people can find their shade it's just a wonderful wonderful foundation the next two that i want to talk about they're like neck and neck i think they're tying for the first place <laughs> but i think i'm gonna give my best 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 foundation to mac and this is my second best. The reason being, MAC, is, I've been using this foundation for years and I've repeated this foundation so, so much in the past. And because of loyalty, MAC gets the, the first place. This foundation is so bomb. This is a foundation I would take with me wherever I go. It's full coverage. It is, it photographs beautifully. There's no flashback. This is a foundation I would reach for when I just don't want to go through the hassle of mixing other foundations or whatever. I just know what I'm going to get when I'm using this MAC foundation. So this is a foundation I gravitate to when I'm in a rush, when I just know I want my makeup to last all night. I want to look flawless. I'll be taking pictures, things like that. MAC is the best foundation ever, ever. And of course, we have 
this is my recent love the Too Faced born this way foundation this foundation you guys <clears throat> it's amazing it's a very full coverage a very full coverage but it is so lightweight on the skin and that is what i love about it as compared to the mac one the mac one is a bit heavier on the skin this is just so lightweight you even forget you're wearing a foundation and that's what i love about it and you still you still are able to to come to achieve a full coverage look from this bondage with foundation and it dries down not too matte not too dewy it's just perfect i just recommended this foundation to my cousin she used it one time and fell in love with it instantly and can't wait to use it again that is what the Too Faced bondage with foundation will do to you i love it so so much next concealers i have of course i've used it so much on camera the Too Faced bondage with sculpting concealer it is amazing i have my tart shape tape and i have my maybelline instant age rewind concealer now this foundation will this this foundation is my favorite foundation of all time um it's a very full coverage it dries down very quick you have to work very fast with it and you don't need to set it if you don't like using powders you do not have to set this foundation it dries if you have no lines underneath your eyes your underneath your eyes will look very smooth i personally don't believe in creaseless foundations um concealer sorry but i believe you can get very close to achieving a creaseless look with foundations because this foundation does that to me i just feel like if you have lines underneath your eyes you are going to get something settling into your lines but once you apply them properly and you set it properly you don't have an issue and this from this concealer right here does that for you it is close to creaseless it is the best but you have to work with it very very fast like i say because it dries down and sets in place quickly and the maybelline age rewind this is a drugstore foundation i feel like you can get a very similar result as the Tarte shape tape one when you apply it underneath your eyes you leave it for like a couple minutes to dry and get tacky and it gets very very similar texture to the Tarte shape tape in my opinion and you blend it out flawlessly and achieve a really nice look and this is drugstore you guys look at this i've repeated this so much i'm in in need for a new one it's almost gone that's how good this foundation is and of course we have the born this way concealer this one a lot of people replace the tart one with this one because it is something about tart um uh two faced formulation it is so lightweight so you achieve a very nice coverage with this very light very nice you hardly even know you're wearing it and it's not as mattifying as it doesn't get so dry as the tart one so it's just beautiful get your hands on it now for setting powders i have my sasha setting powder and my ben nice setting powder these setting powders are so great and they're very inexpensive anyone can can afford these these setting powders the sasha one however i like using more in the summer months because it's to me it's thicker and it's really really mattifying and i do not want to be that matte in the winter so for the summer this is perfect however in the winter and maybe all year long i love using the ben nye luxury powder i've repeated this powder so much times throughout the year the ben nye one it's lighter i like looking for this in the winter months because it doesn't leave my skin looking too dry as opposed to the tart to the um to the sasha one so i love 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 this setting powder the one that i love i don't use it much on myself but i do do clients as well i do makeup for clients as well and i use this a lot on my clients the fit me loose powder it's a very 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 smooth it makes your skin look flawless it's beautiful and it's drugstore and you should try it now i want to talk about a bronzers um cover girl queen ebony bronzer it's i've used this bronzer for years i love it so so much and we have the ColourPop uh, Press Powder Bronzer in um, bits and pieces. If you look at these two, these two bronzers, they run sort of ready. I love my bronzers to look more on the warmer side. Um, so I love the undertones of these bronzers because I feel like if I'm tan or if I'm burnt, that is the way I'm going to look. It just looks really natural on my skin tone as opposed to bronzers that run more uh, gray um they just look muddy on me so i love these i love these bronzers they are amazing they last well on the skin the formula is great they blend well it's just perfect okay so please excuse the noises in my background like i always say i live very very close to a highway so you'll hear everything it's so annoying okay for blush bh cosmetics blush palette i have the one in um nude blush it is so good they're so pigmented they last 
all day long. It's very inexpensive. It's just good. BS Cosmetics makes some really, really good products. If you're on the hunt for products that are inexpensive and still has quality, BH Cosmetics is one of the brands that I've, I've loved a lot through 2018. Another blush palette that's going with me is the e.l.f. blush uh, palette in dark. This is what it looks like. This one, again, is really nice. It's really pigmented, but I don't feel like the same power is as good as the, um, the BH Cosmetics one, but what do you have to lose? It's still great, and I love my blushes to run more on the pinky side because pinky, coral, peachy blushes are my favorite because I feel like they complement my skin tone really, really well. So that is what I love from a blush, and I love my blush most of the time to be very matte. So the e.l.f. is maybe $6, so what do you have to lose? Now for highlighters. Recap, I have oily combination skin, and I do not like my entire face to glow. But I love using highlights to strategically bring glow to certain points of my face, like my cheeks, my chin. I just want the glow to be certain places, so it just gives more of a natural glow from within feel. So let me start with the more inexpensive ones. Maybelline Master Chrome. I have them in Molten Gold and Rose Gold. The Rose Gold one I like using on maybe, I don't want something that's not too bright, bam, in your face. And the gold one, obviously, is just amazing. This is what they look like. And you can mix them as well. I mix them very often as well. They are just beautiful. The next one I want to talk about is the ColourPop and Shayla Collection Loose Highlight Pigment in Boomin. And I'll show you what this one looks like as well. I like using this one as a topper to my other um, highlights. So I would go in with, let's say, the Maybelline one and top it off with this. With, with um and top it off with the ColourPop one and this is what it looks like it's more subtle so you can use it alone if you feel like but i love when i want like an extra oomph to my highlight i love going over top with the ColourPop um loose pigment and it's also very very inexpensive and please excuse my burn i'm still trying to get rid of that mark on my hand but if you can see this is just gives you a really nice glow from within it's beautiful we have the omri z and anastasia beverly hills highlight this is a very gold highlight. It is, again, wonderful. The formulation, the texture is like no other highlight that I own. It's just magnificent. This is what it looks like. Do you see this? It is just wonderful. It's so gold. It's nice on people of my skin tone as well. It's very, very beautiful. And last but not least, and this is my favorite, favorite bronzer. Um, this is my favorite, favorite highlight of all time is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight. It's just perfect. I'm gonna put it next to the Amorizi one so you can see. This is it right here. It is just so, so, so beautiful every time i wear this highlight i get questions of what highlight i'm wearing it is this is my favorite highlight of all time i love it so 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 much now for the eyes so i have the perception um palette from sheila and ColourPop. this is what it looks like this is so so brown girl friendly it is beautiful the colors are amazing sheila did a very very good job with this palette i love this palette so much the um the transition colors everything is just it just complements my skin tone so well i'm not saying if you're lighter you cannot get away with it but it's just so beautiful at least this is a james charles and morphe palette but it has to go with me into 2019 it is just amazing and all the palettes that i'm talking about i feel like they're very beginner friendly as well because they have such a nice array of colors and arrangement of colors anybody who's even new to makeup can love the palettes love the look get simple looks and still take it to a more advanced look these palettes will do that for you this is beautiful and i mentioned this when i did the review with this palette before i love the way the colors are arranged i feel that they are arranged in a way to make it easy for anyone who's new to makeup anyone who's new to makeup is arranged in such a beautiful way the quads, I feel like you can work with them in any which way and, pro pro and create a very, very nice look. This quad, this quad, or this quad if you want to get more technical. Anyway, any which way you choose to use this palette, in my opinion, is beautiful. And the reason why I consider it to be beginner friendly is because it has such a wide range of colors. It will force you to play with colors because it's so colorful, but then you also have these really nice soft shades in case you don't want to use color, but you can still use color to add a pop of color to your look. And you have all these nice transition shades. You have a white, a beige, it's just amazing. And this palette, you beginner in a makeup, you don't need another palette. You have everything you need from this palette, right? That is why I love it so much. The next one is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. Yes, I love Morphe. Can you tell? <laughs> is look at it 
it's beat up as shit. <laughs> this is my top, 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 top favorite palette. I've been using this palette since it launched, maybe almost two years. I love it. And it's the same reason why I love the James Charles palette as well. I just love these colors. They are more toned down. They're not as bright as, um, the, more, as the James Charles one, but you still have a little color in here that you can play with. This palette is just amazing. Get your hands on it. That's all I can say about it. It's amazing. Jacqueline Hill did such a great job on this palette. It's my favorite palette of all time. All time. The next palette I want to mention is the... <laughs> More... <laughs> Morphe is <laughs> the Morphe 25B palette and the reason why I'm mentioning this palette is because I love this palette for my brows and yes I use it to create eye looks simpler eye looks when I'm on the go because it's just perfect but I love using these colors this one this one and this one I like mixing these three colors to get my brows this is what I use on my brows today they're just the perfect shades and undertones for my brows I love it I love it I love it so it's just amazing Thumbs up for the amount of time I said amazing in this tutorial, in this video. Huh, what am I doing? A random question, does anyone else do this? I never get rid of this flim that comes with my palette. It's, I don't know. I've had this palette for more than a year and this is still with me. I never, I always cover them, leave them covered. I don't, I don't know, I'm OCD like that. Does anyone else do that? Leave the flim over the plastic <laughs> over the product? I don't know, maybe I have a problem. <laughs> still on eyes I don't use lashes a lot but I am wearing lashes today and I do wear them sometimes I'm just a mascara girl so my favorite mascara of all time is the Big Shot Colossal Mascara this is just perfect I feel it separates my lashes it lengthens my lashes it does not clump to get the look of the that this mascara gives me with my lashes I would have to maybe mix two mascaras to achieve that but this alone gives me what I want for my lashes and I love it so much. I've been through so many tubes of this mascara. It is just amazing. It's my favorite, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Then we have lashes. Like I said, I don't wear lashes often, but when I do, my favorite, favorite pair of lashes to wear is from the, Ki the Kiss um, Remy Hair Eye Envy Lashes, the Wispy Style in um, So Wispy number three this i have it in the pack because i love it so much i gravitate towards these lashes so much because i don't wear lashes often i do not want my lashes to look too fake or um too fluffy this just gives me the right amount of balance in how i want my lashes to look and i just love it and my favorite glue to apply my lashes is from kiss as well it's the inv super strong hold glue this one they also make one in the white tube and that one is really nice as well i just love this one i just love this one better because it dries black my lashes go on easy you just leave your, your that glue on your lashes for a couple seconds to get tacky it stays on this together it's heaven for me now <laughs> my got to be ultra glue invisible styling gel i love this for setting my brows in place this is super glue for your brows it doesn't go anywhere when i use this product with my spoolie where's where my spoolie but with a spoolie i just get a little bit on the back of my hands rub my spoolie through it and i flick that to my brows and it's really after i've used all my brow products it just separates my brows so you actually see my brow hairs instead of the brow product that I use and it also helps to disperse the product nicely as well so I have a more natural looking brow it stays until I'm ready to take it off and one of the best discoveries I found in 2018 <laughs> almost last category and that's lips now I love a good nude lip is my preference I'm either reaching for a nude lip or a red lip that is my preference I love the in-between colors but that is just what I love. I love nude, I love red. Like, I don't wanna think about what I wanna wear on my lips. It's based on my eye look, it's always red or nude. When I don't want any hassle, it's like compared to my MAC foundation. When I don't, when I don't know what I wanna do, it's like, that's just my go-to colors. What made it into 2019 with me is, two of them are from ColourPop and Shayla Collection. <laughs> Can you tell? I love ColourPop. Oh. I'm gonna show you what they look like. One is, Ooh. <laughs> and the other one is quickie here we have ooh, and here we have quickie as you can see my favorite one of these two is ooh, 
I love love the shade it's um has such a nice peachy tone to it and it just looks really nice on my lips and it complements again my skin tone very very well and the other one is squeaky it has more of a pinky tone they are both beautiful paired with a brown lip liner I love the Colourpop BFF brown lip liner you can use MAC cork or any lip liner that's brown of your choice once you're a brown girl like me you need a brown lip liner to blend that in and look flawless and any lipstick would just do fine for you so these are my two favorite nudes of 2018 that's you're gonna see a lot of in 2019 the other two are of course reds this one hot shot by morphe i this is a newer love of mine but it is amazing this is what it looks like in the tube and this is what it looks like on my hand it's a beautiful red with a nice orange undertone it's like so brilliant I, you see me for miles when i wear that lipstick i love it and the other one is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Trust Me, I, I think the name is. The Lippy Sticks. If you're slipping on ColourPop Lippy Sticks, please, please do not. I would also link my video on top. Is that I you would see of I did my top five favorite red lips. You can check that out. And this one made it in it as well. And this is the red right here. It is so beautiful. I paired this with a red lip liner. I fill my lips in with a red lip liner. I like, I like using the MAC Cherry or a NARS one that I have. And I fill this all over my lip. And this lasts so well. It is matte, but it's not like drying on your lip. You can eat and everything. And this stays. I've worn this lipstick for an entire day. I'm talking like eight hours plus, and it didn't move on my lips. And if you're not a messy eater, then it's gonna last on your lips. It's just amazing. And like I say, it's not overly drying. It's not uncomfortable on your lip. I love it so much. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? And last, but certainly not least, makeup setting sprays. If you're not setting your makeup, what are you doing? You need to set your makeup on your face. You, it's what's gonna make everything just look as one. And my favorite, favorite setting spray of 2018 is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I have been through so much of this. This spray, <sighs> let's, let's have a moment. <laughs> For the morphe continuous spray let me show you the mist on this look at this it is so fine i've never used a certain spray that sprays like this it doesn't spit the spray on your face have you ever done your makeup when a certain spray spits it and you have this big lump of certain spray that just ruins your makeup this this would never happen and the other reason why i love this certain spray so much is because if you feel like you've overdone it with applying powders and you feel like your makeup looked cakey and you look like you're wearing makeup a couple of spritz of this is just gonna dissolve all the product into your skin and have your skin looking like your skin so i use this when i feel like i used way too much powder today so i would set my face with this after i would have done my my foundation routine apply my highlight and then set my face again and fan that in to dry and this is what i obviously this is what i use today look at my skin do you see that it is so beautiful this is a makeup fixer for when you made a blunder with your makeup this you need this spray in your life it is so great i love it um i compare it to the mac fix plus because i prefer this over the mac fix plus although the mac fix plus is really good too but the way this mist the mist is what makes this my number one setting spray hey okay. guys that's it that's the product that you're gonna see a lot of in 2019 best of the best these are products i reach for on a regular regular basis i love them how many times can i say i love them anyway if you're new here i'm rachel thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads i upload every wednesday and sunday you can also follow me on all my my social media shades of Chels and Chels makeup edition everything would always be listed in the description box you can check that out i hope this video was informative if you're on the hunt for some new products probably you, you would have found something i mentioned interesting and you will go out and try it so thank you so so much for watching again happy new year i hope all your wishes and dreams come through in this new year i sure as hell hope to make minds do at least a lot of them come through um thank you so much for the support i love you guys keep coming back we have to reach to the thousands and then the millions on this channel right here that is one of my biggest biggest goals here on youtube or book me i am a nail technician and i am a makeup artist working out here in brooklyn if you like what i'm doing here on youtube you can actually have it done to you in person face to face up close and personal anyway thank you so much and i'll see you on wednesday bye